Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. We are working on day 8 of the 12 days of Christmas. And today is Farmhouse Christmas. So, I have a cute little uh, tobacco, tobacco basket project for you. So, our hosts are Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. All of the, the the playlist link and the host's channel links will be in the description box below. Hmm, pardon me. And I just want to... Well, I'm showing you these rub-on stencils, or rub-on transfers that I got off of Amazon. These farmhouse Christmas ones. And they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Especially the Highland cap. So we are going to use the Highland cow and keep watching because you'll see what I'm going to do with it. I took that plank of wood there and I had painted it with the apple barrel antique white. So and um, I also would like to say thank you so much to all of my current subscribers. I'd like to invite anybody who um, is coming over from the playlist that hasn't subscribed or watches frequently but hasn't subscribed yet to please subscribe. And I also would love it if you would like, comment, share because that also helps my channel grow so that I can continue doing what I love. This crafting is my therapy. Um, you know, that I can take whatever stress from the day and just jump in there and start crafting on something. And that helps me to just kind of let things go that need to be let go. You know, you don't have to hold on to all the negative. Anyway, so I was sitting here trying to get um, this uh, rub-on transfer. Um, some of the pieces were still trying to come up, and one did. I didn't catch that it was, so I had to lay it back down there. But And, and that's the beauty of the rub-on transfers. If you do have something like that happen, you can lay it back down there and scrape it off, and it's good to go. Oh, isn't he cute? She. Is it a he or is it a she? I don't know, but it's cute. It's a Highland cow. I love them. They're so adorable. I just want to reach out and hug them. So I have this little miniature um, tobacco basket that um, we're going to add this to with some greenery and whatnot and make a cute little um, Christmas decor piece. So I had taken and um, I glued two Jenga blocks to get, or tumbling tower blocks together there. I was trying to figure out how best I wanted to do this. Um, so what I did was I glued that one down and then I laid the string across it, the twine, and then I put the other two on top of it because I wanted to raise the Highland Cow um, up out of the basket. I didn't want it sunk way down in there. So um, I used three of the tumbling tower blocks, but I took... Um, I put that twine across the, the bottom one, and I'm going to use the other two to kind of sandwich that in, and then I've tied it on the back just to give it some extra security there. And I was playing around with the placement of the greenery stuff. Let me know. I want your opinion. Let me know um, what you think. I've got those four pieces of the greenery in there, and um, all my 
florals and whatnot are over in my shed. So I was not, it gets dark by the time I get home from work. So I had to work with what I had on hand. Um, but let me know if you think I need to add some other greenery all the way around it and fill in certain gaps or if, um, or if I should keep it simplistic like, like it is with just a few little bit of greenery in there. I'd love to have your opinion on that. I think it turned out cute the way it is, but, um, I, I'm just curious because sometimes I go way overboard with the stuff that I add and then other times I don't add enough, um, especially if I'm in a hurry when I'm racing to uh, make the deadline of the when I'm in a playlist and whatnot and I try to make the deadline and I'm running late, that's when I mess up or don't put enough on there. So, I would love to hear what you think on that. I just took in, um, some hot glue and just kind of tacked those in place on the front and then I turned it over on the back and added um, quite a bit more hot glue to kind of help actually secure them in place because that little tad, um, <clears throat> that small bead that I put up toward the front to kind of hold it in place is not enough to give it any kind of long term um, you bump it just right and it could fall out so I wanted to make sure that I had that covered where it was good and stable and sturdy. I've got, um, I've got several little, um, bags of these picks like this. I think they're, they come with six of them in a, um, in a little bag. And they came from Hobby Lobby. I've had them in my stash for quite a while. Um, but they've got, I've got, um, some of them that have snowflakes on them and some of them that have stars on them. So, but I think, um, this one here, um, all but the rub on transfer was from my stash. Um, I just recently ordered that because... I wanted some Christmassy rub-on transfers. I'm kind of having fun with the rub-on transfers. And after watching all the other ladies in the playlists and whatnot, I was having rub-on transfer envy. I needed to play with it too. Same with the chalk couture. Uh, I, I, I was just like, okay, that's it. I got to play with this too. It looks like too much fun. So that's what I did. You can see here, I'm just kind of tweaking and whatnot, trying to find a good placement for it where I can tack it in there, too. So, I showed you all the, the, um, the transfers, the farmhouse Christmas transfers. Uh, they had the cows, they had bunnies, goats, chickens, pigs. Um, I'd love to hear what, what your favorite, um, farmhouse animal one is out of all those that I showed you. Um, I love pigs and highland cows. Those are my go-tos. Uh, I used to have a little mini pig. And she was just, she was my cuddle buddy. But unfortunately, sadly, she had passed away, so. But she was just, uh, just adorable. Anyway, and here we go. Let me know what you think. Do I need to add more greenery? Or is it good the way it is? I don't know, I'd curious to find out what you guys think. But anyway, 
Thanks again for joining and watching and have a great night.